we have uh, Carol Mulroney, our uh, Minister of Transportation, with us now, and we are going to talk to her regarding different issues related to the transportation industry. We have uh, thousands of people working in the trucking industry, so we, we are going to talk to her regarding those issues. Uh, Minister, first of all, welcome to Radio Pravasi, and uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Minister, we have... Um, many people working in transportation industry and uh, they have a couple of issues before that i would like to, you to say a few words we are going through very tough situation right now unprecedented situation we have not only in our country in our province all over the world so you say a few words before i ask you a question well yes well we have been for the last uh, few weeks now um all working together uh, we, our government has been focused on trying to manage the health crisis that COVID-19 has created, um, to protect as many Ontarians as possible, uh, protect our frontline workers in the healthcare se sector, in the long-term care sector, make sure that, uh, that uh, we are still able to put food on our tables and, uh, and, and think about the long-term. But I think what uh, what I've noticed throughout this, and, and I'm sure many of your listeners have, is there's been a, a great moment of solidarity uh, amongst Ontarians and Canadians, and it's happening around the world, where people are following these new guidelines, social distancing and physical distancing, um, and working from home, and, and following the directives of their government so that they can protect uh, their fellow man and fellow woman. And so it really has been an extraordinary time. I'm sure it's one that none of us will ever forget, but we've all come together, uh, banded together to uh, to protect the health of others. And it's, it's truly extraordinary. And I thank all of your listeners who've been doing their part by abiding by the guidelines. It's not easy. And we know that it's been very, very difficult for so many, uh, but we are responding to a health crisis that requires the uh, the the dedication of all and so uh, so that's that's you know uh, I, I know that uh, your listeners uh, want to hear about trucking but I think that and transportation but I I, I want to take the opportunity to thank them for uh, for following our guidelines because I know it hasn't been easy but it's the right thing to do. Uh, Minister, you talked about transportation industry. Uh, thousands of our listeners are working uh, as truck drivers, owner operators. They were making more or less $7,000, $6,000 a month. But because of COVID-19, their work has been reduced. They are hardly able to make $3,000 or $4,000 at the maximum and, and sometimes even less than that. So they, they call me on a regular basis. They tell that, look, we are at the forefront. We are putting our contribution, we are putting our life, our family's lives into risk, but we don't have any other incentive. So can government think uh, something for, for these people? Well, Virginia, you're right. One of the things that uh, we've all learned uh, since the beginning of the pandemic is who our heroes are in our, in our society. And, you know, we, we have our frontline healthcare workers, but we also have our grocery store workers, and of course, we have our truck drivers. Yeah. And since the beginning of the pandemic, I have had regular conversations with representatives from the truck driving industry, uh, but also truck drivers themselves to talk about the challenges that they're experiencing as they're doing their jobs, um, and and ways that we can we our government. Can, uh, can develop policies to support them. And so those, those are things that we're doing on a daily basis at the Ministry of Transportation. Uh, but what we have seen in this pandemic is it highlights how critical the jobs that truck drivers do every day uh, is, uh, is to our supply chain, to making sure that we have food on our plates, on our tables, that we have things on, that our shelves are stocked, medicine is available. And uh, they really have, uh, it's clear that they're heroes. Um, the, uh, the economy has changed uh, incredibly in the last six weeks yeah. in ways none of us could ever have imagined. Uh, 
And the business models for everything from trucking to transit to other sectors as well is undergoing massive change. And uh, many people are being laid off uh, and many people are seeing their shifts reduced. And I know that from a trucking perspective, a lot of companies, a lot of trucking companies are experiencing a massive cash crunch. Um, there's a phenomenon of empty miles where trucks are, are going to one place filled and they come back empty, which is something that they've never had to do. So I, I know that many, many people are, are experiencing uh, financial pain um, and some have been laid off. But we are working very quickly under the guidance of the chief medical officer to reopen the economy. And we want to do that responsibly so that uh, truck drivers can once again be uh, be working uh, the hours that they're used to working, that they need to work so that they can provide for their family. So uh, we're working very hard on this, Rajinder, and uh, I know that it's been a very difficult time. So we're they're, trying to respond responsibly. They're asking for at least insurance coverage for them, if we can, uh, we can think on those lines. I've heard about in insurance issues, and we're working uh, with uh, the insurance bureaus uh, and insurance stakeholders to respond to them, um, make sure that when they travel across the country, or sorry, when they travel across the borders of the United States, I understand that there may be issues with health coverage there. And so we are working uh, to re respond to the challenges that uh, truck drivers are identifying for us. Okay. Uh, Premier has given very loud and clear message to the restaurant owners that these people should be allowed to use washrooms. But Minister, still I'm getting calls after calls from them that uh, many a time they're not being allowed to use those washrooms and where they should go. So that, that that's their another big concern. I, I agree, Regina. I don't think there's this issue it just continues to enrage me. Um, it's frustrating. Uh, we had hoped by highlighting companies that were doing the right thing by keeping facilities available and clean and accessible for truck drivers that that would uh, inspire other you know receivers, suppliers, other companies to do the same. And uh, I keep hearing that companies are 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 denying access to washrooms to companies uh, to truck drivers. And so what I'm asking people to do is to let me know. And we will give those companies a call and let them know that this is unacceptable. Um, it, it denies people their basic humanity and it's disgusting behavior and it should not and it won't be tolerated. So truck drivers who uh, are experiencing this, um, they take pictures and they send them to me uh, or to their local MPP who then sends them to me. Please continue to do that. And by the same token, you know, we're working hard. We've got great partners like Enroute that are staying open and making sure that their facilities are clean so that truck drivers have access. Uh, companies like Tim Hortons are trying to provide uh, curbside uh, service so that truck drivers who can't go through the drive through can get their coffee and their food. Yeah. And, you know, Regina, we launched, MTO launched last week an app mm -hmm. for truck drivers so that they can get this kind yeah, of information. Yeah. So Yes, tell yes, us more like about to... this app, please. Yeah, it's 511 Thanks. app? Yeah, thank you. Yes, yeah, so it's, yeah. An, it's a new app because I understand that truck drivers, this is all on the web, but uh, they, they need an app. It's easier, and it has a driver mode so that you can get information uh, on uh, communicated audio. Yeah. Uh, but the Ontario 511 app will provide highway information, up-to-date highway information, information about construction and collisions, road closures, and images but also will identify open rest areas and locations that are throughout the province that offer food and fuel. And one of the things I heard from, uh, from a truck driver is, you know, he only eats vegetarian food, and that information wasn't provided. And so we have information on the app about which rest areas uh, have food that have vegetarian options. So we're going to continue to improve it based on the feedback we hear from the users. So, to your listeners who are truck drivers, please download the app, please use it, and please give us feedback so that we can continue to uh, provide the information that you need to do your job. Okay. Minister, uh, Ontario is considered as the engine of our economy, economy of our country, and transportation plays is the biggest role in that. So being Minister of Transportation, any message you would like to share at the end? 
Yeah, um, yes, it's uh, a privilege to serve as Ontario's Minister of Transportation. Um, we are now going through these unprecedented times, and all transportation sectors are being challenged in very difficult ways. Um, but since the beginning, our truck drivers and the trucking industry itself has continued to demonstrate its resilience. Um, its dedication to work and to uh, to its mission to keep our supply chain moving and to keeping Ontarians fed and healthy by getting food and medicine to, to each and every one of us. So my message is thank you to truck drivers, to their families who sacrifice a lot when they're when they're when the drivers are on the road uh, and let you know that you have our respect. And uh, and we want to do everything we can to help you stay safe. Thank you, Minister. It will be hard for us to come back on the track soon, but I, I'm sure together we can do this. And uh, and we need to work together on this. Together we can do it. And uh, thank you, Rajinder, for having me on your show today. Thank you, Minister, again. Thanks a lot.